You don't have to think it's funny, but you have to know it's a joke. That's something I used to say to people on Twitter who took tweets seriously when clearly they weren't meant that way. Well, on Wednesday night, Stephen Colbert tackled the right-wing outrage over a photo the White House released last week of President Obama with his foot on the Oval Office desk. I guess the only problem was there wasn't a hell of a lot of right-wing outrage. And here's how you can tell. The first clip he used as an example was of Red Eye mocking what little outrage there was. Except somehow, he didn't realize that's what he was doing. Are you as mad as I am? Well, just wait till you find out why you're so mad. The White House sends out a photo of President Obama with his foot on his Oval Office desk. I am so disgusted right now, I can't even understand. Alleged Commander-in-Chief contemptuously put his foot on the Oval Office desk in a picture put out by the White House. Desks are not for your feet, Mr. President. Eh, kind of embarrassing. Remember, Stephen, you don't have to think it's funny, but you have to know it's a joke. It's okay, though. Red Eye's only been around for six and a half years on the network you're obsessed with. No reason you should know that mocking outrage on all sides is the kind of thing we do every night. No reason you or one of the many, many people on your staff should do five minutes of research before you basically do the equivalent of running something from the onion as a real news story. <laughs> Maybe part of the problem is the idea that a show could poke fun at the excesses on all sides of the political debate doesn't make sense to you. Maybe part of the problem is that we don't have a studio audience the way you do. And maybe you've lost the ability to tell when something's tongue in cheek without the re reassurance of that immediate response to back you up. I don't know, maybe you actually knew we were joking and for some reason decided you just didn't care because Fox News. Or hey, maybe this was just a simple screw up. Whatever the reason, I accept your apology. <laughs> Bill, I go to you first because Ooh. somehow you are actually part of the show staff. Mm. Come here. Look, he's a really, really funny guy. He's got a really funny writing staff. What do you think happened here? Well, first of all, I like to call him Colbert. Sure. I don't ignore the T, <laughs> even though he does. Second of all, what is this, Andrew? What do you see here? I think what you see is something that is uh, half empty, huh? I see this half full. The mm. bottom line is wow. this. Most of Colbert's audience, they don't know what Red Eye is. And even though Colbert's people do, they were gonna play fast and loose, so they got something that would get easy laughs from the crowd. And as a result, we get a little bit of publicity. Not too shabby. I think that, and all, not to mention, we've killed at least a minute in A Block from mm. talking about this. I like it. So what they did, was it a little shady? Was it not really that funny? Did it not even really make a point? Yes, but <laughs> you can now put on your resume, right. I was on the Colbert. <laughs> That's an excellent point, yeah. actually, yeah. All right, Jill, let me ask you that, because a bunch of people that I talked to today, because this is all anyone is talking about, really. <clears throat> it's in, unbelievable. Yeah, I know, yeah. just New York, and I know also in L.A. and, yeah. and Chicago. And, and it, uh, some people in Europe, I haven't gotten that much. Some from Germany, I have a lot of fans yeah. there. Um, <laughs> do you agree, do you think they knew we were joking and ran it anyway? And if so, is that better or worse? Uh, they definitely knew you were joking, of course, because they know what the show is. And it's not like they only saw that clip. They probably saw the whole show and have, know exactly what you're doing. But Step Hen Colbert, as I like to call him, because <laughs> I don't ignore any You any are so phonetic. Right. I love that about you. Uh, it's, it, I get the impression <laughs> he didn't care. He wanted to make a joke. And right. he's playing fast and loose with the facts by indicating that you weren't joking. Right. He got his laugh, and that's what he wanted. But Buck, isn't his thing kind of the whole, you know, going after truthiness and all of that stuff? So how do you use a clip that's of people mocking something as an example of that something? Maybe he's suffering from borderline personality disorder. He can't really tell when he's conservative mocking Stephen versus normal Stephen versus, you know, yeah. it just all gets sort of jumbled up in his brain. But this is actually much more endemic uh, on, the, on the left, you know, when they watch these programs and such. You'll see these college kids, they watch The Daily Show, and they say, oh, yeah, man, they, they totally get it. He understands what's going on. They don't seem to understand that they're actually making stuff up with it as they go along. Right. They're taking clips out of context and they really can't laugh at themselves. Nothing is funny about President Obama really. Right. Nothing's funny about the American left of them. So yeah. and, and the second you push them, by the way, John Stewart will give a very serious, and he'll have serious interviews on, by the way, you know, why can't we have health care for all Americans? And you tell him the reason, he goes, come on, I make poop jokes. You know, come on. Right. You know, sword and shield. You got to have one way or the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Veronica, you are a comedian. Mm, sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I, I, it, it was pretty damn obvious that we were joking. Right? Yeah, it was really obvious you were joking. I just yeah. think it's funny these guys have nothing to fall back on except for, like, the Bush agenda, right? <laughs> right Hal yeah. Burton. Hal Burton. <laughs> like, he's the guy's been gone for a long time now. And it's interesting how they, they, they're they essentially, like, defending this photo really vehemently. But at the end of the day, they have nothing to say about uh, wiener 
picks. That's what I don't understand. Thought it's yeah. Is that bad that I said that? No, it's, it's okay. a redundant phrase. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. But. Except for the bleep in the middle. Yes, yeah. that's all right. Uh, Bill, I, I get your point that you made about, you know, oh, well, we were on the Colbert Report, good, so that's good. No, you were on. Us. I wasn't. Right, that's true. <laughs> Way to rub that in. But I don't I don't like being misrepresented, and I feel, you know, I, that's, I feel like that's what he was doing there. Um, I'm, you're, well, okay, first of all, yes, you were, and you were right. He was being lazy, and there was outrage. And what these guys got to do is they got to do their due diligence and get something that I like to call the bowling cam. Have that on him, and you'll get the material you wanted, and it's legit. Right. Don't use something that Andy's joking about. Right. Well, they used, after Red Eye, they, they showed a clip of this, or uh, played some audio, I can't remember, of this crackpot right-wing radio host who was basically saying she, his foot on the desk had something to do. It was a signal to Al-Qaeda and the Muslim Brotherhood. <laughs> we already knew that, yeah. Andy. <laughs> but but in, in well all honesty, and I, I don't want to go too far with taking a joke seriously or whatever, but I don't want to be lumped in with someone like right. that. And I don't, I don't think it's wrong of me to not want to be lumped in with that. I was on uh, Lesbians Today a couple days ago, and it was a clip of Billie Jean King, Aaron Moran, and me. And I, <laughs> I was completely misrepresented by that. Wow. Oh, actually, that's a good. Point. Yeah, I don't really get that. <laughs> I mean, look at the sport code. I know. All right, have we beaten this into the ground? I think so. Yeah. Okay.